Here we go. Good luck. Ooh, that's fast. Ooh, that's fast. All right. Oh, well. Can I play one of my troll openings? Do I have a troll opening for Queen A5? I'm not sure yet. We're going to find out if what I just played somehow trolls Queen A5. Uh, my opponent's paying attention to hanging pawns and hanging pieces, so I think they're at least 2,000. Also, because my rating is around 2,000, I think they're about 2,000. Yep, this bishop's just off there and never, never land. Bye. <laughs> they're going to play this. Oh, never mind. Shows my ability to predict things. Um... So this is strange. We've got a lot of time to think this through. Um, not sure. Oh, they're going to try to scare my bishop. They're going to successfully scare my bishop. All right, what do we do about this? Where does my bishop run to? I mean, this is an okay square for it. I'm not super thrilled. But never play f6. Well, they're preparing to play f6. Um, hmm. All right, where is this bishop going? Back there. All right, so I'm going to play the bishop back to b2 instead of h2. Yep. They're going to try to hit my pawn here. So I've given them some not trivial to figure out problems. And they've come up with some good solutions here, so kudos to them. But yeah, we're dropping back this way, threatening. All right, they've dealt with my immediate threat. Let's bring the rook out onto the open file to discourage f6 yet again. All right, so f6 has not incurred. Um, yeah, let's, so oh, it's not so clear. All right, fine. You want an exchange? We'll exchange. You want another exchange? Didn't think so. But I might take here. This is an interesting sack. I don't like it, though. You know, I don't like this position. We're going to have some fun. This is too boring. I have some fun. Never do that exchange unless you're severely bored. Because um, it's probably a bad exchange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rook takes? Do I hear a rook takes? No, they're not falling for it. If rook takes, then I have rook a8 check. So, yeah, they've lifted the mate threat. Um, I'm going to take here. And this is going to be a difficult, difficult endgame. Which is why we should not have picked it, unless we were severely bored. And we were, so... It's all fine. Um, yep, they're going to do the check. They're going to do the check very likely, unless they do knight d5, and that's okay too. Yep, they did knight d5. Which we are suited okay for. Yep, since we have two targets. We don't have to protect the c-pawn. You can't be too materialistic in this game and expect to get very far. All right, free pawn. <laughs> you have to take some material, but taking too much gets you in trouble. Uh, I have to be careful about mate threats. With bishop e4. Yep. Oops. All right, let's fork that.
Interesting point. Thanks for the game. Alright. You could have just given me the win in the last, like, 20 moves here instead of playing it out. I know stuff can happen in Bullet, but if you want a rematch, the way you get a rematch is by when you get, uh, what position? Where would I say that this is over? Not here. Even though this is tremendously painful, you could maybe draw this if you're lucky. Uh, at what point, if you wanted a rematch, would I say you'd have to concede? Uh, yeah, after this, uh, I have three seconds with an increment. I mean, either you're going to flag me or you're not. And I'm grateful that I did not lose on time. But also, if you want a rematch... Playing this out another 10 moves is not the way to ask for a rematch. So, well, that's Bullet. Crazy stuff happens in Bullet all the time. Uh, should we try some Blitz? Oh, it's the yearly Rapid Arena. Uh, it's in progress right now. If only we had time for that. All right, this is going to be a lot calmer. Note that I'm... I've, more than three minutes on my clock because I'm moving so quickly. But that's because I've seen this position before. I've seen this position before. And I've seen this. I forget what to do. I think this is okay. And knight takes e6 is not the end of the world. Um... Yeah, it's pretty bad though, isn't it? I thought knight a5 was the move here, or queen d7. I don't remember. Could also be that now castling just loses the knight. This knight on d5 is hanging. So I need to do something about the hanging knight. Um, so we threaten a queen exchange. We also threaten to take here. So I think they have to exchange queens or otherwise do something to take their bishop to an inactive square. They are up a pawn. This is not a good opening. I've misplayed it. I'm not sure what I did wrong. So yeah, again, I anticipate queen takes queen. And then if bishop f1, I potentially play knight d4, hitting the c2 pawn. And I have compensation. I've misplayed this, but I have compensation. Um, if they don't do queen takes queen, I guess they could do like rook e1 or something, but then I win a bishop. I guess they could do bishop e2. But then knight d4 seems to win material. Oh, this. Well, you know I'm going to play that, right? Like, that's irresistible. Um, unless I have something absolutely devastating here, which maybe king d7 wins. No, king d7 hits the rook then allows bishop b3. So yeah, let's play into this. This looks too interesting. I cannot resist this. Um, and I think I just take here, because the double discover check is too powerful. But I still have quite a few active pieces. I'm still trying to trade into an endgame that I could maybe salvage. Okay, that, uh, well, we have no choice here. 
Um, if we go king f8, uh, queen f7 is mate in one. I thought this was fine. I did not see a checkmate here, but I think they'd spent quite a while trying to find a checkmate. It's just I had not seen it. So it's either knight e5 or king c5. Multiple choice. Um, my first inclination here was knight e5. Um, uh, if king c5, bishop e3 looks concerning. Well, king c5 is the kind of crazy move I want to play here. King c5 is the madness that we all desire. <laughs> um, uh, king c5, knight c3 looks spooky. I'm not sure I like it. Knight e5 seems to lose the knight and everything else. So let's go this exciting way. Um, again, we threaten this, so they have to continue delivering check every move. And now this was a mistake. Now we have to play knight d5, because attempting to progress further into the opposing camp is no bueno. So we have to play this. And then pawn c4 just collects the knight for a pawn. Although we are up two points right now, so that kind of exchange is not terrible. Right. This is more natural. Um, and threatens a lot of fun stuff, I'm sure. Uh, so they intend taking my knight one of 35 different ways. Um, let's do this. Try to keep the initiative as long as we can here, which is probably going to be no more than one move. Uh, right. So to respond to that, that's logical, right? interesting concept of what could be logical. <laughs> we are living for the insanity at the moment. It's so exciting. It's so refreshing. All right, so now... Oh, my knight's on d4. Is it? I have two knights that are both pinned and indefensible. All right, I think I've thoroughly lost this game. Um, let's try to defend this. All right, so they take that. Yeah, okay, you win. Well played. Nicely done. <laughs> ah, that stings. Stings just a little bit. All right, well, that's fine. So the last responsible moment was back here where I did not take on d4. Had I taken on d4, there's some possibility I might have survived. I suddenly did not remember this. I could have spent an extra minute or two sitting here trying to remember it. I don't think I would have worked it out. But yeah, knight takes d4 is the correct move here. And now we know why. So yeah, this forces the queen exchange, whereas that other line allowed queen h5, which is very convincing. Damn. <laughs> oh well. Well, that was a good pair of games. Um, yeah, shows you can be tenacious in some respects, but tenacity does not always win. All right, let's do one race and then call it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. zero. Oh god. Failed the first problem. 
Why did I skip on the first one? The first one's going to be the easiest. And it's not as if any of the... I didn't build up a streak before skipping any problems. So there was no reason to skip the first one unless I think I'm going to get every other problem. And maybe I do think that. Not doing too badly here. Okay, I don't think that anymore. Um, you could take here, right? Uh, okay, wow. That's kind of cool. I've seen a similar tactic in one of my... Oh, I can take this. I can take that. Threatened mate in once. I got to respond to the mate in one threat. And can make some mate threats of our own. Um, nope. Just kidding. And then we pin this and win it. And, oh god. I don't know what this is. Oh, I have to unpin this pawn. And somehow this is good. And Oh, there. This is how it's good. No, nope. Random guesses do not get you very far. But 54 is not bad. Alright. Not shabby at all. We were defeated by CSO Love and the resident sheep. All right. Oh, some of these names are kind of fun and make me think that these, like you can click on some of the names and it's actual user account. Oh, these are actual usernames, the resident sheep and CSO love. Yeah, but some of these like brown calming frog, anonymous player. So yeah, named and unnamed players are able to play together in uh, this, which is also exciting. Anyway. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you next time.